Hello everybody, welcome back again to the video. So, so as you can probably see by the, this video, I'm going to be calling out a, a YouTuber who is defending NVIDIA's, you know, greedy shit with, when it comes to the 4090 in particular. Well, why am I bringing up the 4090? As you'll see it later, because, so he, let's take a look at the pricing of this GPU, shall we? So the GeForce RTX 4090, 24GB GDR6 RAM, 2-4 two, two times faster than the 3090 Ti, 1600 bucks, and available October 12th. So only a few weeks from now. Now, now there's two reasons why people are giving NVIDIA so much shit right now for it, which is well deserved. First, the price. Which is absolutely insane because you can literally build a, P a gaming PC for that kind of price or buy a gaming laptop for that price. So you could literally buy a whole PC gaming setup with that. You know, for that price, and that's just for one fucking GPU. The second thing is that NVIDIA is li literally, you know, locking features to the to the 4000 4, series, which which was the new in new NVIDIA DLSS 3.0, which is intended for lower-end GPUs to help with performance of high, of very demanding games. Like some examples would be like Marvel Spider-Man they used. Um, Cyberpunk was another example. So NVIDIA is essentially, you know, essentially bottlenecking, you know, people's PCs by, do by doing such a shitty move like this. So, and that's why, why people are giving a, ripping a new one, which is well fucking deserved, and that Intel and AMD, hopefully, I'm hopefully, they step up their game, literally, so actually give NVIDIA some competition, so that, you know, they might want to think twice before raising the prices again, because, th because there would actually be viable competitors out there, and that NVIDIA would have to essentially step up their game too, because competition is key, you know, and it gives the consumer better products at the end of the day. And that's what we all want, shall we? Well, okay, why am I bringing all of this up? Because there's a YouTuber out there by the name of Griffin Gaming, where he thinks differently, apparently, which is a very unpopular opinion, where he essentially is defense NVIDIA for being, you know, greedy and anti-consumer with the, with the 4090, for the 4000 GPU series. So, so, like, here's this post that kind of started the whole thing. It's deleted, by the way, as you'll see in a minute. So, let's take a look at this post. Hang on to your walls. Does it irritate anyone else that the first thing anyone ever does when we we get new GPUs or any piece of new piece of tech is complain about the pricing? Like, my dude, the previous gen models you could scoop up for the cheap if price is that big of a problem. Also, probably get a copy of 4090. Hmm. I, I wanted to go comment on it. You know, comment, like, kind of give my take instead of making this YouTube video. Hmm, but when I actually go to his channel, this is what I find. It's fucking gone. Hmm, gee. I wonder why he took it down. <laughs> you serious? Wait, you serious, Griffin? Really? So like, but you you don't you don't hear something funny about all about like now here comes the shit kicker, where Griffin just exposed himself uh, as being a, a giant hypocrite because, th because he was you know calling out Sony when Sony raised the pricing of the PlayStation Five like the rest of us were, and also he's also been very vocal against the seventy dollar game bullshit like a lot of people are, as you can see here. Gee, what do you know? Like not even a month ago, he was calling out. He was calling out Sony when Sony raised the price of the PlayStation Five. Keep that same energy. Yeah, yeah, Griffin. I guess you failed to keep that same energy, as the infamous Craft Gamer says, huh? So, hmm. But I guess instead of just saying, saying, saying like, "Hey, I took an L. I was very wrong for for defending a video," but nope, nope, nope. He decided he decided to live stream the whole thing, and he's and he's now essentially kind of bitching once more about people calling out a video. I just like I don't know, man. I don't need to hear the perspective of a bunch of brokies who can't even fucking buy it anyway. 
Like, fuck off. Like, I had people going like, you're encouraging NVIDIA to constantly raise the price. Good, I fucking hope they double it next year, you sick piece of shit. I don't know, man. I just fucking hate people like that. So much. Get a fucking job and get off of YouTube. Holy fuck. And that's the scary thing is, too, we're not even talking about a lot of money. It's literally fucking 1500 bucks, man. That is not a life-changing sum for any human being on this planet. Like, people are acting like this is the price of a fucking car. No, it's like a thousand bucks, bro. If you sell your existing GPU and buy it, you're probably gonna spend a grand. Which, this is the top-of-the-line card. Less than 1% of the market is probably gonna buy it. It's just so fucking annoying. Yeah, like, the thing is, is, like, less than probably 5% of the entire PC market would even consider buying a 4090. But yet everyone's outraged over the price of something they're never gonna fucking buy. I don't get it. It's not like this is a fucking console or some bullshit. Where it's, like, literally marketed towards people who don't have a lot of money to spend on fucking gaming hardware. Like, that's the whole point of a console, or, like, lower-end GPUs, or the previous-generation GPUs. Like, of course, if you buy the top-of-the-line, brand-new, most powerful graphics card on the market, you're gonna... This... this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This... this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please? Ah, oh, yes. The whole get a job bullshit. Ah, oh, yes. I get off YouTube. Well, get, well, guess what, buddy? Like, no shit. That's common freaking sense. With how, with how it could be pretty... You know, expensive to build a gaming PC, but if you're smart about it, it's actually not as bad as you think. Two, oh, two, like, you know, $1,500 is not a lot. Oh, gee. Cut, it's, oh, gee, maybe not for you. You know, because cause, uh, clearly you seem to be pretty wealthy. Because <laughs> uh, it seems you have a high paying job. But did you ever think about the fact that it, like, $1,500. Like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars is a lot of fucking money to a lot of people, where that could be used to, to I don't know, help buy a car, pay your freaking mortgage or your rent, you know, other way more important shit than a fucking GPU for a gaming PC. Hell, you could literally build a whole gaming PC with with that kind of money. And for some people, especially in thir third world countries, that's like someone that's like someone's savings, like for like an entire freaking month. You know, or, or for a whole year, like, you know, if it's really that bad over there, you know, in those countries. So, like, really? And now with the whole, you know, 5%, sure, sure, you know, if you want to go all out on that. So, yeah, f so, no, 1500 bucks is a lot of fucking money to a lot of people. So, no. Yeah, so, cheap you sure to help, you know, cut down the cost. But how much though? I guess that depends on one how old your GPU is and two, you know, what's the condition of it as well. Like sure. But not everyone is gonna like you know, get, go for the forty ninety, so I've seen people say they're not even gonna upgrade to the forty nine the fourth house series because of NVIDIA's bullshit with with these moves that they just they just pulled on people. So and so yeah, like Nvidia if you're listening, don't listen to this to this to these idiots saying that, you know, to fucking double it, even though they kind of already ha they essentially already did, kind of, as I'll show you later. But yet, even after this livestream clip, he doubles down 
again. So, as you can see here, Griffin, you can't make a video complaining about GMI's decision to increase the cost of their games by 10 bucks, but you're okay with NVIDIA increasing their GPU cost by over 30 fucking percent. Keep that same energy. Nailed it. You freaking nailed it, man. And, and Griffin responds back, NVIDIA isn't raising the price on the existing product key, they are really, they are releasing a new product. And someone replied back, well, isn't all Sony's new games card cost 70 bucks as well? Um, let's see, Not that's not just Sony, you know, Ubisoft is now going to be doing it with, uh, what was that one game that they're coming out with, uh, Sea of Bones. That's what it was. Anyway, and, and, and my friend Scarly here writes, the 2080 RTX launch price was $699, the 3080 RTX launch price was also $699, the 4090 launch price, $1600 is almost fucking double. The price of both the 2080 and the 3080 RTX with exclusive DLSS 3.0. I thought you can't stand exclusivity. Ah! 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 Oh my god! Stop! She's right! She's freaking right. And, yeah, it's funny, Griffin, that you failed to bring that up. Because I've noticed that in, in literally in your post that you put up. And also that, that stream clip we just went over, where he failed to bring that up. Have you noticed that? Yeah, because he knows that, because then he'll, he'll have to admit that is looking really shitty by doing this move. And, and he, and it would go against, you know, him being here because like, oh, I hate exclus exclusivity. But, but yet, but yet the company he's fanboying here is literally doing the shit that he consistently calls out. From the Sony, the Sony Microsoft fanboys, I've noticed that. Like, come on, bro, come on, just and ad just admit that you took a giant L. Come on, bro, just admit it's okay. Trust me, but your but your little ego won't let you because you like like to act all high and mighty because you have a high have a good paying job. So don't be sitting here. So oh my gosh, like really. And if you're ever listening, don't fucking listen to this idiot, man. Don't listen to him. So, because if you want to keep... If you're... Literally, that statement right there. Like, if you keep going, more people are just going to boycott your products. Because, like, they're going to vote with their wallet. And seemingly, based on what I'm seeing... People are... Not, from what I've seen, people are not going to buy... Buy the 4000 series. Or they're just, they'll just wait for a sale. Because what you're doing here is absolute bull fucking shit. Now, the thing about the whole, you know, console thing, sure, he's right on that. He's, he's right on that. So, because not everybody's going to want to spend, you know, that, the kind of money, like, you know, on a gaming PC. Or, and also, people just don't like gaming consoles. And that's perfectly okay for either side. Like, it, that's perfectly okay. But, but still, though. It's absolute bullshit what Envy is doing here, and I really hope, like I said before, that... Intel and AMD step up their game, because it would incentivize NVIDIA to cut their bullshit and actually be competitive again. Gee, and, and, and gee, now I'm starting to see why Vega dropped their partnership with NVIDIA. I'm starting to see why. So it looks like Vega was right to do that after this bullshit move. But yeah, so, ooh yeah. <laughs> Not a good look for you, Griffin, so if I were you, I wouldn't have deleted that post and just admit that, you know, I took a huge L, you know, and maybe people people forget about you. And here's a tip, pro tip for you. The internet never forgets. I don't know how how you didn't realize this, but when you deleted, deleted that post on your YouTube channel. I don't know how you didn't, you know, fall, realize that. But anyway, so I think that, I th okay guys, I think that's kind of all I have to say on this. But yeah, wow. Oof, what if, what if... Ooh, what a huge fucking L by by Griffin. And you know it's you know what's funny before I go? That he defended Stadia. And gee, and and how's Stadia doing now, Griffin? How's Stadia doing now, eh? Well they're essentially on death's door. I mean, who's really talking about Stadia anymore? Just saying. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I gotta say on this video. So and and this guy and before I go, Griffin, all I gotta say is I got no problem with you, dude. I really don't. So it was just a really bad take. That's all it was. That's, I just thought it was a really bad take at the end of the day. That's all there is to it.
So, I have no ill will toward you, and so I hope you don't think that, because, you know, because I don't. So, anyway, that's it for this video. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below, and if you like this video, hit the smack that like button, and, and consider to hit, hitting that sub button so you do not mess on any more videos, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.